Congratulations, you've just had a baby. This is a reason to celebrate. This happy occasion though, sometimes is made more challenging if you're suffering with a lot of back pain. So we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk today about how to relieve back pain after delivery of your new baby. So let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins, and over the last 16 years, we have helped families grow healthier every day by removing the physical, the chemical, and the emotional barriers to good health. Now let's talk about your back pain. After delivery, you've, you've had your baby, your spine and pelvis have been moved in all sorts of positions to allow for labor and delivery to progress so that baby can deliver and be healthy. Um, the ligaments are looser, so this can happen more easily. The problem is, when the ligaments are looser, your spine and pelvis move out of position more often, causing increased pain. If your core is weak, things aren't moving normally, and you do activities that aggravate your spine, and make things worse. So let's talk about the activities that will help you to relieve pregnancy pain. So let's think about the steps that you've gotta to take to improve your situation. Uh, one, watch how you pick things up. Bend at the knees and not the back. Activate your core when you're picking things up. Next, in going from sitting to standing, instead of bending forward and using your back muscles to lift yourself out of a chair, try to bend a little less. Activate your glute muscles and lift yourself off the chair. When overhead reaching, use your shoulders instead of your ribs when reaching overhead. Using the ribs will create more tension in the middle of your back. Uh, don't carry things to the side. Carry them in front of you and keep those things close. Carrying anything on the side will create even more imbalance and pain over time. And you'll have more pain. So we don't want that. Carry items in front of you and keep them um, close. When you reach far out in front of you to pick up baby, pick up baby or to put baby into the car, that's something that can create more discomfort as well. So those are some things to avoid. Now, let's talk about activities that will help your spine to function more normally and help you to feel better. First exercise is the knee to chest. So one leg at a time, bring your knees to your chest. Hold for two to three seconds and repeat on the other leg. Do this 10 times. Next, the lumbar rotation stretch. You want to be uh, lying on your side. You'll start on your side with the knees bent and you'll twist the upper body so that your upper back is flat on the floor. You'll hold that position for up to one minute. Next, pelvic tilts. Lie on your back with your knees bent. Rotate your hips forward and backward and that will create more mobility in that lower spine and pelvis. Next is the abdominal brace exercise. So you'll start in that same position for the pelvic tilt. You'll tilt the pelvis backwards as if you're trying to flatten your back onto the floor and then bring your belly button in towards the spine. You can also throw in a Kegel exercise at the same time, holding for two to three seconds. You'll do this 10 times and that will give you some more stability. Next is hip bridges. This exercise helps strengthen the glute muscles and stretch your hip flexors, which get super tight during pregnancy and for anyone who does a lot of sitting. So start in that abdominal brace position from before, then push the hips straight up and hold that position for three to five seconds, then repeat it 10 times. And the last exercise we'll talk about is clamshells. This is another one that will improve the relationship between the glutes and the hip flexors. And there you have it. These are the tips to help you recover from back pain after pregnancy. As a chiropractor, we realize that the nervous system controls everything. Your spine protects it, and if it's misaligned, not only will you feel terrible, but it can damage your health. Our number one goal is to correct and stabilize your spine so that you can achieve your health goals. And if you need more help with your pain, find a family chiropractor in your community. If you live in Southern Arizona, click the link below to schedule an appointment in our office for an evaluation. Guys, I look forward to seeing you. I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins, and we'll see you on the inside.